Let's talk about grief. Because you just told me that you lost your five-year-old daughter. Mm -hmm. And I think that this year (laughs) in some change has been so triggering because grief is so close. Um, You know, grief is terrible when it's something that you are experiencing within the context of your family and community. But when it feels like every person in the world is grieving at the same time, I can imagine that that's triggering too for, for grief that you have experienced outside of, you know, what we've gone through. Um, Well, how would you define grief? Like in your own words, what is grief? Um, So grief is just a significant, a significant loss. It doesn't have to be, it doesn't have to strictly be loss of life, loss of a loved one close to you. I think that it is any significant traumatic loss. It can be, you can grieve losing a job, which a lot of people did during the pandemic. So I think like losing the ability to be able to go out and hang out with your friends and have community, like that is a sort of grief because it becomes, you have to figure out a new normal. So I feel like when you, when you suffer a loss and have to figure out a new normal, like there is a grieving process to that because you have to relearn how to do things. Okay. So first of all, you just gave someone so much license to feel how they feel because there are a lot of people who feel like it was just a job or it was just going outside. But if grief is any significant loss, not just the loss of life, then maybe there are people who now feel justified and feeling depressed and feeling sad and feeling frustrated and upset because there is a significant loss in my life. And yes, maybe everyone is still alive, but this part of my life no longer lives. And a lot of people get stuck in grief. 